New Hampshire Motor Speedway. It's a soggy Sunday. All the activities have been temporarily put on hold. Rain started fairly early this morning. The conditions and the track were, were different. Definitely had to, to change up what we did in practice, and, and really with the PJ1 on the track, you know that you're going to have to adapt to some things and, and move around throughout the day to, to try to make your car work. Same switch as you had practice. Got a front brake fans, rear brake fans, and right front beat. We felt really good about our car. Really going into the race, we just barely changed a couple small things and and uh, just let it go and decided we would work on it during the race. Everything where you want it. Step on. Have a good day, guys. After a three and a half hour rain delay, it's time to go racing here at the Magic Mile at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Green, green, green. Harvick started back in 14th, believed their cars were much better than their qualifying efforts would indicate. Just can't roll the center long enough, quick enough. We'll leave it alone for now. As you look at the beginning of the race, that was really probably the, the hardest part about the race, just because of the fact that my car would just lose time through the center of the corner and kind of chatter the tires. Here is your leader, Truex, now working his way out of turn four. So Harvick is halfway home, now running seventh as he tries to track down uh, Kyle Busch. Keep digging. You're all clear. Green checker. Martin Truex Jr. wins stage one here at New Hampshire. I had to lower the track by a half inch. Still chattering the tires through the center. That didn't help it. When you take a look at what Stuart Haas Racing is doing right now, you have Kevin Harvick in fourth. We were able to, to really make some ground at the end of the runs. It had good short run speed, and then it was really good on the long run. So that's always the key here is to, to be able to roll faster than everybody else. Smooth and straight, doing good. Chase Elliott will win stage number two. Yeah, I feel good about what you had there. Judging off of what we got with some other cars, I think we need to work on some air pressures here. Fans are on their feet. Here we go again. Kurt Busch will take the green flag. Chase Elliott second. Kevin Harvick third. Felt like we had a really good car at the time and wanted to try to get the lead. And, and um, you know, we ended up kind of making a mistake on some air pressure stuff at the time. And uh, the car wasn't as good the next run. Glued together down the back stretch. There he is, Kevin Harvick, Mark Truex Jr. And now Kyle Busch gets in the middle of that one as well. You can just lose so much time here if you get third or fourth or get to racing with somebody and that leader has clean track. Trouble, got a car hit the wall over here. It looked like Clint Boyer. Don't know if he's got any damage or not, but it looks like it's going to bring the caution out. Key pit stops coming up for all of these front running teams. You ready? Be ready. Go hard, 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 hard. Dig, 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 dig. Kyle Busch, he will lead the field off of pit lane. Kevin Harvick second. The 18's been tough to beat off pit road this year. Uh, I think, you know, that whole group does a really good job, but we got to, to start second on the inside there, and the inside, you know, row wasn't too bad. Coming to green, everything where you want it. I felt like I got a pretty good restart and, and were able to launch it into turn one. Green flag out, 39 laps to go at New Hampshire. Kyle, he got out there a little bit, but we were able to, to manage the gap and, and stay pretty close made that gap up and, and started to put pressure on him. Oh, this is going to get good right here. Kyle Busch is going to have some company, and he's going to have it very soon. 19 to go here at New Hampshire. We've been better in the long runs all day, little by little. The longer he ran, the tighter he got. My car would get better, and he would come back to me. And you know, as, as we got towards uh, the end of the race there, and we got into single digit laps, I knew that uh, when I got to him, I needed to do everything I can to get by. Now he'll get to the left rear quarter panel. Does Kyle Busch have enough to hold on for eight more laps? And I knew that if I waited, his car was just going to get wider, and he was going to get harder to pass. So I got a good run off of, off of turn four and was right on his bumper going into, into turn one and knew that um, you know I needed, to, I needed to go now. Do what you got to do to win. Again, Harvick gets to his back bumper, shoves Kyle Busch up out of the racing group. New race leader is Kevin Harvick. You wondered what he'd do. You thought about what he'd do. Now you just saw what he did. Kevin Harvick to the lead here in New Hampshire. In a slugfest between two NASCAR heavyweights, Kevin Harvick, he will win at New Hampshire. He takes the checkered flag, his sixth checkered flag here in 2018. Yeah, boys, great job. Hell of a job, man. Great job, guys. That's the way to fight all weekend. A little old school NASCAR in play today for Happy Harvick. You know, everybody's being aggressive right now and, and trying to get all the points that they can. And, you know, for us, that was a 10-point swing. 
uh, winning the race compared to him finishing second in, in playoff points. It's all about playoff points and, and winning the races is, is the way that you get the most points and, and that's what we want to do.